Hello and welcome. I'll be showing you three different ways to mod Blade and Sorcery. First up, we have Vortex. Download the latest version of Vortex. Manual download. If you haven't already, you're going to want to create an account. All right, and once that is finished downloading, go ahead and install it. It's pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and click through the prompts. Now, once you've got Vortex open, it should look something like this. And if it hasn't prompted to you to already, make sure you are logged in. Log in using the same account that you use on the website. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to install mods directly from the website. Now, some other stuff might pop up as well. Something that'll ask for like uh, permission to use your data and stuff like that. Just click through them. It's not a big deal. You can accept or decline. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but once you are logged in, go to the games tab and under here, you're going to want to search up Blade and Sorcery. And when it pops up, you should see a little manage button. When you click on that, you're going to get one of two things that pops up. One that says game not discovered. Not a big deal. Really easy to find the game. Just hit continue and locate the game file within whatever folder it's stored in. If you use the default install path on Steam, you can find it on your C drive under Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Blade and Sorcery. Now, if it isn't there, or you don't remember where it's at, not a problem. Open up Steam, right-click Blade and Sorcery, go to Manage, Browse Local Files, and now you have the folder that it is in. Just make sure you can navigate to this in Vortex. Another thing that might pop up is uh, something that says game support not included. That is one that you should definitely expect. It's an even easier fix. Just hit download and it'll install the necessary files you need to get started. The manager should then restart on its own. All right. Once you've got it booted back up, you want to go to your games and make sure Blade and Sorcery is activated. Now you can navigate to the mods folder. This is where all of your mods are going to be stored. At this point, we can go ahead and go back to Vortex and download mods. I'm sure you've got one in mind. For my tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the realistic bleeding one. I really like this one. It's really neat to install it. Just go to files and then Mod Manager Download. Now, if you don't have Mod Manager Download and it just says manual, that's fine. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Mod Manager Download, click on it, slow download, and it will download your file. Now I'm gonna go back because yeah, file already exists. I was not fast enough. That's okay though, I'm gonna hit cancel. Once it installs, it should automatically deploy everything for you and it should say enabled. If it just says uninstalled, click on it. If it says deployed, click on it. It'll eventually say enabled. Once it's green, you're good to go. It is installed and I would recommend booting up the game to make sure that it works. Now, if you did not have the option for mod manager download and it just says manual download, real simple. Just do the manual download, slow download, I already downloaded it. I'm not worried about it. I've got it saved in my downloads. Realistic bleeding. Go ahead and open Vortex. Make sure you are on the mods tab. Grab your file, drag and drop. I'd recommend putting these into a specific folder so that you can easily access them later instead of just installing them directly from your downloads. It should be fine though. Once you drag and drop, just make sure it's enabled and you are good to go. Let's say you don't even use Vortex. You need to manually install it, but you don't know how. Make sure that you've got it downloaded. And let me pull that back up. I've got it downloaded right here. This is going to need to go into a specific folder. That specific folder is your game mods folder. To find it, go ahead and browse local files like we did before. Go to Blade and Sorcery Data, and then go to Streaming Assets, Mods. Bam, done. I've got my file right here, drag and drop. 
and extract here. File already exists. So I'm gonna hit cancel. Ah, uh, break. Close. And delete. <laughs> I don't need it, it's already installed. But yeah, that is the folder that you wanna install your mods if you're going to do it manually. Just know that if you do it manually, you will have to update your mods manually as well. Mod managers can do this for you. Real simple. If you need to check if there are any updates, check for updates. Any mods that I currently have enabled. This one, it is a U11 mod. That is code for a previous version of the game, basically before 1.0. This was a Dishonored mod. And if I wanted to download it directly from the website, I can click right here and it'll bring it up on my preferred browser. Currently, the only version of it is 12.3. When was it updated? Last updated March 2024, which I believe was before 1.0 came out, so it probably doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that is disabled and uninstalled. I don't want it using that file because it could break my game. All right, so this is the last way that I'm going to show you how to install mods. I have not used this one uh, a whole lot, but I did experiment with it, and it is pretty simple to do. It is mod.io. If you've already booted up the game, you've probably already been prompted to log into your mod.io account if you clicked on the mods section in the menu. I would recommend if you're going to use this method to log in so that you can keep track of your mods. You actually don't have to log in in order to use those mods. But if you were to go to the website, I like using the website personally because it's easier to navigate, but the built-in uh, support for it is actually really good. But if you just hit subscribe, I think I've got one or two. Technically, this one should be enabled because I've already got it, but I've got painful death sound effects installed. I just hit subscribe and then when I link my account in game, it'll be automatically downloaded and installed for me. If you wanted to do it in game, here you can see all of the mods that you can install and boom. Just as easily you can install, even easier than Vortex. Now, the downside to using mod.io in this way is if you install something that breaks your game and prevents it from even booting up, it can be hard to figure out which mod exactly did that, especially if you installed like 30 mods or whatever. To troubleshoot when in order to interact with your mods and uninstall them and such, uh, you need to be in game and the mods are preventing you from getting in game. So that is why I would recommend using Vortex over mod.io. But if you're just installing a couple mods, it shouldn't be a problem. This is also much more user friendly, I would say. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, the more mods you install, the more likely the game will break. I recommend booting up the game after every couple mods that you install, or if you download a really big one, try the game right after. It can be difficult, you know, as I said before, uh, to figure out what's causing the issues when you have a bunch of mods installed at the same time Because it could be any of them and then you got to install them in Groups to figure out which group is causing the problem and then eventually you can narrow it down to one or two Problematic mods and then you can just get rid of them that way. It can take a lot of time and it can be frustrating Also keep an eye on the notifications tab I've got a little notification up here that says incompatible mods. So I'm gonna hit more. I've got these mods. I've got two of the same mod installed. They're incompatible because these are the U12 version of the mod. They actually need to be updated in order for them to work. I don't have them updated, so I'm getting this notification, but I also have them uninstalled. So I'm not super worried about it. Following the recommendations of the uh, notification tab is generally a good idea, like 90% of the time. Sometimes you'll install a mod that is overriding another one. This is sometimes 
by design, depending on the modder that uploaded the mod, it could be intentional. Everything is broken and you don't know how to fix it. Don't worry, there is a panic button. There's a little button up here in Vortex that says purge mods. Go ahead and do that. On Steam, you're going to want to go to your library, right click Blade and Sorcery like we did before, but this time go to Properties, go to Installed Files, Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will basically scan the folder that the game is in and make sure everything is there. If there's anything missing or corrupt, it'll replace it, it'll download it, it'll make sure it's basically factory reset. If it's still not working, delete it, re-download it, make sure the, uh, the mods are still uninstalled and purged, and then try again. If it's still not working, you'll want to contact support. It's probably a specific issue outside of my ability to help, unfortunately. Thank you for listening. If you found this guide helpful, awesome. I'm always happy to help. Please consider liking and subscribing to help me grow.